Hi guys, so earlier today I uh, released the haul and um, some of the things in there were these cute little diamond press kits. They're for the shaker cards. It was for basically whatever I didn't get on auto ship the first time around that this uh, came up. So um, I already showed those in the haul, but I'll quickly show them. So there's the celebration kit, which I'm going to use today, so we'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, the Something Splendid shaker die kit and the Fall Harvest. Now these were designed to go with the original diamond press, the smaller one <laughs> um but you can put this in your marquee or you know any machine really and what happens is with their shaker kits they come with a foam that you can cut down um in the machine in your uh diamond press the acetate the metal shim that you need for the acetate because acetate if you just cut it in a plastic folder it's just going to get pushed into almost cut through but not quite so you need that little metal shim in there and then it comes with the uh, the confetti dies, which I think are always sweet, and you can always mix and match them with any other set that you have, and I have tons of sets. I even have the um, Christmas one that Diamond Press has on mydiamondpress.com. They have a little Christmas set, um, a tag set that's really adorable, and um, I have that one too. So I have pretty much all of them now, especially with these having uh, been made available. So this one again has a gumball machine, um, a little um, like fish tank, and um, like a a jar, like a mason jar type thing, which is really cute. And then, of course, they have, you know, the instructions there. And that one <clears throat> is, again, something splendid. Then Fall Harvest, again, it has, like, little pumpkins and apples, I believe. It has a leaf and a little acorn. Super cute. Again, these are, like, little elements you would put on your card. I think I reviewed the Halloween one. Sorry, I have that video out there if you want to check that one out. Um... But these are a little bit different. And this one, this is the one I was really wanting and I was so bummed out. It's the cutest thing. So this is the celebrations kit. Um, so let me open this one up and you'll have another idea of how these work. <clears throat> when I was talking about this in the haul, I think I have another idea I want to try these out with. And people have probably already done this because it's not like, you know completely outlandish so we'll do this in a minute. But um, they always come with your folders. Again, this was designed to go with the smaller um, uh, diamond press uh, when they came out so this has the smaller folders but you can run these folders through your marquee also and maybe I'll do that today since I haven't really done that I usually still use the larger uh, folder and so this one has like little sprinkles and little stars and then we have our gift the um, uh, cupcake the party hat and the balloon so these things all kind of work in conjunction with each other this is the topper part this is the part that's going to cut your foam for you and then um you know just your kind of blackout in the background behind the hat or behind the balloon right and then uh behind the cupcake if you want to do that you don't always have to put a blackout behind it. if you just want the paper that's that you're going to stick this on to show through then you don't need this guy but um this also cups your acetate Right, because you don't want your acetate to have all these holes in it. So um, that's what the, the blank ones are for. Again, this is the cupcake liner. Um, and this one, I suppose... Oh, yeah, is your gift. I keep, like, not, like, passing over the gift because it's on its own carry over here, and I keep forgetting about it. So these go with the gift. Super cute, but, of course, I'm going to work on the cupcake because that's adorable. Um, the most adorable. We have our metal shims. You have your acetate in here with the... Um, foam. I did mention the cute little shaker tag that they have available on mydiamondpress.com. They also have refills for these kits and for the scratch off. So scratch off refills. So it's just more of the scratch off material and the, um, um, I think that one requires metal shim also. And then, um, the shaker kits are basically the foam, the acetate and more of the metal shims you can pick up there. So, um, I do have a an affiliate discount code VCDP and it'll give you 13% off now your, um, total purchase there. And they always have free shipping. So that's always great. I love their, um, instruction sheets, especially because they're color, they have plenty of information, super cute. And, um, so we have our hat die, we have the, uh, cupcake, uh, the balloon and the present. So cute. So I need to grab a little bit of paper and uh, we'll get started. Okay, I went to look for actual paper and then I thought, what am I doing? We can use nothing but scraps and that'll be fine. So I just grabbed some papers I think might look cute together. I was going to make the cupcake pink, the swirl on top, but I think I'll just make the cupcake liner pink and then the cupcake itself white. And this is actually a pearlescent white. And then I have some things for like sprinkles and stuff. So let's put that to the side for now. And of course, the instructions are super clear. Um, you know, they're saying to go ahead and do your um, your cupcake liner first, and then from there we'll do the adhesive foam, and then from there we'll do the confetti, and then from there you put your you cut your acetate, and then layer it all up. And um, 
sounds good to me. The only thing is I didn't get a background piece of paper yet, so I might have to stop for a second and do that. But for right now, I'm just going to get a piece of paper in here, and I hope this is enough for the cupcake liner. So that's this little guy right here. And I am using a folder I already used before, um, because why not? And I'm still putting it in with the fold side first. And I just run it through the middle. I mean, I don't know. I always put things right in the middle. It seems like that's the more logical place to go. And I have my little um, cupcake liner. So next they want you to cut your foam. So I'm gonna take this one. It's the one with the double lines. And so in any of these, whenever you cut the foam, it's the one that has the double lines, just so you know. the there and I'm gonna grab a piece of foam again this foam is even a little bit thicker than the foam I used to show you guys how to emboss with so um, it works really well we're just gonna put that in there and put this guy right down in the center and this always feels scary because it's so thick but we'll get it done again you can run this through your regular um, little guy And I can see it cut all the way through because I can see that these back pieces completely cut. But um, a lot of times I'll just leave it there until I'm ready to use it. Especially right now, I'm going to wait to assemble everything. Actually, that's not true. Let's get a piece of paper going so that way I can just go ahead and finish it up as we're going along. Okay, so mine's going to be a little more simple than you might do because I'm not going to put a piece behind here. Since I'm using just a plain piece of cardstock, this is just some Crafter's Companion pearlescent blue cardstock. Um, I'm going to put this right on here. But if you wanted a background... Um, behind your your little shaker then go ahead and like I said use this guy and cut out a background color but since this is plain then I'm just gonna leave it that way it's fine so we're gonna do is pop this out and this little guy you can use it for other things you can try to reuse it or use it for a foam adhesive just cut it up whenever you need uh, on the back of a dimensional item you have this little piece that you can use all of this that's how I use all those things <laughs> and so I'm just gonna take the stickiness off the back of this guy and I'm going to put him down, but to be honest, you can kind of play with it first. Do you want to put this down first and then put the little cupcake? But he's going to basically lay right on top of that. So however you want to do this part, um, I'm going to put him like right in the center. I hope. <laughs> right here. So I haven't stuck this down yet, and we're not going to worry about this quite yet because I have another idea to show you too. Okay, so we have that guy. I haven't removed the stickiness or the carrier on that stickiness just so that my confetti will get in here really nicely. Oh, there's one more confetti. I didn't even realize. So we have the larger dots and the smaller dots. So really cute stuff. I'm going to use the sprinkles because why not? But what I'm going to do is take this and some of that green paper and some of that purple paper. Again, I do this very technically. Here we go. I'm going to put that green paper underneath our die with the cut side down, obviously, into the paper. <clears throat> I should use my little folders more often in the diamond press because if you want to conserve, because I know a lot of people like to conserve their folders, and I've been using mine completely and it's, you know, uh, still going. Um, Use the little guy for little dies and then use the big one for if you really need like a whole card front or you know with the background dies or however. I'm gonna turn this over this way. So I can see some of them are on here. And basically you're just gonna push that in here. <laughs> Try to get those in there. You can also do this just on a regular piece of paper, just kinda let everything fall in there and then you can funnel it in here. If that's what you wanna do. And what's left over here, I'm going to remove this. <laughs> so everything's pretty much removed out of here. And these guys, I'm just going to scrub the back of my... So this is obviously getting everywhere because I just did that a little bit differently, but there you go. And I'm going to do the same thing for purple. I'm just going to run some purple paper through. And you know what? Why not? I'll run some pink paper through too. So I'm going to run it twice more through, and then I'm going to put those little pieces in here, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have my purple, and this is what I meant, like if you want to just get this going on like a piece of paper so then when you're done you just scoop it into your project and I'll show you what I mean by that in just a second here <clears throat> I 
something like that. I don't need all every single little piece, but it makes a lot of uh, confetti for you. And just kind of get it in there like that. Okay, so we're gonna leave this to the side for just a second. Hopefully I don't drop this. I probably shouldn't even mess with it that way, but I did. I picked it up. I took the uh, the uh, danger there. Um, always clean your uh, dye before you go to cut something else. Like see how these little purple pieces are in there? I wouldn't have left that in there if I was gonna cut like some more green. Always really make sure to clean out and poke out all those little pieces um, just so you get a nice cut the next time. Oh my gosh, you guys, sorry, when I craft in the morning, that's when my allergies are the worst. Okay, um, so now we, we need this guy. Again, you would have used this for a background if you needed that too. And we are going to get a piece of acetate. There's one kind of hanging around here. Get this little guy. And... I know it's hard to see, so I'm just going to put those things there. And then we need a metal shim. And these metal shims are reusable, you know, until it does, doesn't cut well anymore, but they give you plenty of them. So, um, you know, that's what they're for. <laughs> so I'm going to put this down here. It says, use this when cutting the clear acetate. Place items in the plastic folder in this order. Metal sheet, clear acetate sheet, and metal die obviously face down so you can cut into your acetate. So I'm just going to put that there. <clears throat> And let's cut this. And it will come out pretty warped at times, the metal sheet. But again, you can just keep using it, keep cutting, keep cutting on that same one. And hopefully you can see. <laughs> so there we go. There's our little guy. Put this back on the carrier. And your acetate, I mean, you're done. And you see the little imprint there. But again, you can keep using it, turn it over until it's just not cutting well anymore. But that takes a while, too. <laughs> just like the other items here. And so we'll bring this little guy back and now we can take this off and put your acetate down carefully. As you can see there's some static cling there. I'm not even gonna mess with it trying to get the pieces kind of where they need to be. This is good enough for me. So cute. Okay. Um, and then we have our little topper piece. So again, I was going to cut this out in white. So I have that piece of white. You know what? Maybe trim this down. There we go. And we'll trim this guy out. Now, I do want to show you one other thing, and I think this is really cute. And I actually, I had a different idea now that I look down in my craft area here where I keep my scraps. I always keep them right next to me because you never know when you need a little scrap of paper, so it's nice to have them here and see them, right? Instead of just collecting a bunch of scraps and never using them. Um, the other day when I had made that the video showing you guys how to use craft foam just to emboss your dies with the marquee, um, I had some brown craft foam that I see peeking out over here, so I'm gonna get to that. So let me put my glue, oh, <laughs> my glue is pink because I used the same pin that was in here to unclog a inking, a reinker, And so now the glue came out red at the tip there. So I'm just using the white here. So cute. So cute and just like really clean looking, I like that. And then you can put your little cupcake liner down which is adorable. Look at that. And if you wanted to bring your markers or something and give some texture, oh uh, yeah, let me see. I would probably use the Arteza brush pens, but whatever marker you have, I'm just grabbing the markers that I have next to me here and just add a little something. You can definitely do that. And I'm doing this kind of like a kid would on purpose, so it's a little bit whimsical. I think that's cute, just a little something. Or um, I have this craft foam, like I said, I have a piece laying here and I think this is gonna work out real well. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna take the little point here from this guy. And we're gonna have to do a little work on this, but it'll be just fine, I think. So, die face down onto our foam. Run this through. And now I'm going to have a little ice cream cone that'll be just super adorable. Of course, this one is shaped 
upwards where this guy has a kind of a divot taken out in him. So what I'm going to do is just put this on here. But what you can also do is just take even the other side of this guy and run it through again. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> Go ahead and do that and run it through and it's going to cut this piece off for you so it'll be nice and round. Or use the cupcake one uh, to definitely make sure it's the same shape. Um, but you would have to do partial die cutting on that, so that's a little trickier, guys. That means you have to run it through so it only cuts to here, so I'd rather not. But what I'm going to do is just take this guy, since I already have it cut, and just kind of eyeball this. I would probably use smaller scissors next time, but I'm going to use these big guys. And now when you put this on here, it's like a little ice cream cone with a little foam cone, or brown paper, or if you want to draw some lines on it, however you want. But just a couple different ways, so I'm not going to stick either one of these down. And so we have our card base. Here again, four by five and a quarter. I would stick onto my uh, card base, and you know, have fun with it. Of course, you have your you know sentiments, other things you want to add. But I just want to quickly show you kind of how this works, and it's adorable. My goodness. All right, guys. Um, again, these are available right now on HSN.com. If you want to check those out, I'll have the links for them, and I'll see you guys at the next one. Bye now.